Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalos Irsate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making Puerto Calopita, which is an orange filo pie, traditionally made with regular filo, but we are going to be using kadaifi just because it kicks it up a notch and makes it extra delicious. It's a very simple dessert to make and it's perfect if you're entertaining a large crowd. Let's get started. So we're gonna begin by making the syrup because this is a syrup-based dessert. Now in a saucepan, I have two cups of granulated sugar. To it, I'm gonna add two and a half cups of water, half a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice, the rind of an orange, and of course you can substitute lemon for this if you don't like orange. I feel like orange is a little bit sweeter and, and just tastes a little bit better, that's why I'm using it. Bring the mixture to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, take it off of the heat and stir in a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and set it aside to cool completely. Okay, so next you're gonna need a pound of kadaifi pastry that's been thawed and at room temperature for at least one to two hours, so that way it's easy to handle. It's sold in Middle Eastern and Mediterranean specialty food stores in the freezer section. So you're gonna to wanna to thaw it out overnight in your refrigerator and then leave it on the counter for a few hours. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit so it's ready. Get a nine by 13 inch pan ready as well. And now we're just gonna separate the strands. If it's fresh, they should separate easily. Now I'm doing it straight in the dish, but it is a better idea if you lay out a piece of parchment paper and you just do this on your counter, it'll be much easier. I'm just trying to have one less thing to clean up. I've melted half a pound or two sticks of unsalted butter and I'm just gonna drizzle it right on top and then I'm gonna toss everything all together. And I'm just gonna put this in the oven to bake on the center rack for about 20 minutes or until it's nice and golden on top. Okay, so while the kadaifi is baking in the oven, you can go ahead and make the custard that's gonna be poured over top. I zested two oranges, and I put the orange zest in here, and then I added one and a quarter cups of freshly squeezed orange juice. Make sure to zest the oranges before you juice them, otherwise you cannot zest them, right? And then I'm gonna add five eggs, whole eggs in here, a cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, a little pinch of salt, and one cup of plain Greek yogurt. Just go ahead and whisk that all together. And that's it, the custard is ready. As soon as the kadaifi comes out of the oven, I'm gonna pour the custard on top. At that point, you can definitely add some dried fruit to it, cranberries, raisins, dates are nice. If you wanna add some ground pistachios, that also goes really nice in there, or ground almonds or sliced almonds would be nice too. Those all go well together. If you wanna leave all of that out and just add some dark chocolate chips, orange and chocolate is a match made in heaven that goes really well together. But I'm gonna leave it plain today because later on I'm gonna to top it off once it's baked with some homemade fresh whipped cream. And once the custard gets poured on top, I wanna to make sure that it's distributed evenly over the whole kadaifi. I'll pop it back into the oven and let it bake for about 45 minutes to an hour. It's ready when it's puffy and it's golden all around. Once it comes out of the oven, you're gonna poke holes all around it and pour that delicious syrup that's cooled on top. Then the final step is to let it cool to absorb all of that syrup, that's the hardest part. Let it sit for about an hour and then it'll be ready to serve. Okay, so my Porto Calopita was ready in 45 minutes. Keep an eye on it because oven temperatures do vary and it can take all the way up to an hour, but at the 45 minute mark, take a peek and see if it's beautifully golden all around, then you know it's done. I also wanna point out that I forgot to record the part where I did put a teaspoon, two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract in the custard mix, so don't leave that out. The hardest part is waiting for this to cool, but honestly, it tastes really good sliced slightly warm. I would serve this slightly warm, even though traditionally it's served cold. I went ahead and I made some homemade whipped cream. All I did was I added about a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and a couple tablespoons of powdered sugar to a mixing bowl. Whipped it all up until the whipped cream was ready, and it's just that simple. Nothing beats homemade whipped cream. Nothing that comes pre-made in a can or in a tub or something like that. If you don't wanna serve whipped cream with it, you can definitely do some ice cream on top or serve it as is. It smells incredible. Time for the taste test. Mm. Oh my goodness. It has a little bit of a consistency of bread pudding, except it's so much better. The kadaifi melts in your mouth. It's buttery, the top is crispy. The sides got caramelized, and those are probably my favorite parts. It's still juicy from the syrup and from the custard. The cream on top, don't leave it out. 
I, I wouldn't even do ice cream. Just make some homemade whipped cream, scoop it on top, serve this, call some friends over, make some Greek coffee, and enjoy it. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The exact measurements are on the website, DimitrosDishes.com. Check it out, make some, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.